The CDC recently reported that opioid overdose deaths from May 2020 to April 2021 rose to a record high of 100,000 people. What actually happens in an opioid overdose? In an opioid overdose, the opioid overwhelms the brain and interrupts the body's natural breathing regulation. The person experiencing the overdose will have depressed breathing and can stop breathing completely. This can cause brain damage or death. Anytime breathing is compromised, it's crucial to act fast. Just think about how quickly we need to react when someone is drowning or choking. Response time is just as vital in an opioid overdose. The problem is that people often don't recognize the signs of an overdose in order to take action, or don't know what to do. Here are some signs that a person may be experiencing an opioid overdose. They're awake but can't speak. They have a slow heartbeat and pulse. They have slow breathing or they're not breathing. Their breathing sounds raspy or like gurgling or snoring. They make choking sounds. They pass out. They have blue lips or fingernails. What should you do if someone overdoses? First, call 911. Often, people who see someone overdose are afraid to call 911 because they fear being arrested for drug-related crimes. To combat this fear, many jurisdictions have passed Good Samaritan laws to protect bystanders who want to help. In 2021, 47 states and the District of Columbia have Good Samaritan laws on the books protecting those who call for help in the event of an overdose. Second, administer naloxone, also known by the brand name Narcan. Naloxone is a rescue medication that can reverse an opioid overdose. It dislodges opioid molecules from the brain and blocks them from binding again. This can quickly restore a person's breathing to normal if it is slowed down or stopped due to an opioid overdose. If you administer naloxone, you must also call 911. Naloxone's effects last for 30 to 90 minutes, but the effects of certain opioids can last for more than 4 hours. A person could actually re-overdose after the naloxone wears off because the opioid is still in their system. Naloxone can be found at your local pharmacy without a prescription. It's covered by some insurance. In many areas, there are also local drives that provide naloxone for free to help reduce overdose deaths in the area. Its availability varies from state to state. If you or anyone you know uses opioids, be prepared by having naloxone on hand and be ready to call 911. Overdose death is preventable. Knowing what to watch out for and how to respond can save lives. For more information about opioid use and opioid use disorder, learn more at workithealth.com.